reached the first match through injury. And Fayaz, who's preferred to Hami, the man who you may remember hit that free kick from more than 35 yards. He now joins Hakan on the substitutes bench. Hakan having played yesterday in the under-21 match. And since the 4-0 defeat, Turkey have lost home and away to Holland and only drawn 0-0 in San Marino. The two changes in the England side compared with November are Andy Sinton for Stuart Pearce at left back and John Barnes for Alan Shearer. Barnes given the attacking central role alongside Ian Wright. Les Ferdinand was the manager's first choice for that position, but he's not recovered from a hip injury. Ince and Wright, like Sinton, were not playing in the 6-0 win over San Marino. The Ataturk Stadium is by no means full, but the atmosphere suggests that the crowd is playing due tribute to the warrior after whom it's named. Mustafa Kemal Ataturk, achieving, among other things, the removal of the Greeks from this town and restoring it to the Turks. And the Turkish footballers are in the red strip, defending the goal to our right. The officials for this match from Italy and the first free kick he gives is in favour of the home country. The player who went down was Mehmet. And the foul was immediately acknowledged. And Mr Fabio Baldas was not fussy about it. Two linesman messes Manfredini and Satione. Pitch is a bit better than a couple of years ago, is the general opinion of the England team. Andy Stinton playing at left back in the flat back four. Utility man, but with a chance of making an impression. First test for Chris Woods. And as is increasingly the case these days, goalkeeper called upon to use his feet. player in the six-yard area. And the free kick is given to England and words between the referee and Korkmaz Bulen. Yeah, Lee Dixon, I think, just caught uh, by his elbow, wasn't it, the way he went down there as he was sort of pinned in by the touchline. And I don't think it was anything particularly malicious, but um, certainly went down quickly. Dixon. Flat. You mentioned the uh, Bullen and Gascoigne situation. I mean, they paid the price in the home game when they decided to let whoever was closer to Gascoigne pick him up rather than man mark him. And because he, he scored a couple of goals and had too much space. On this occasion, number six Bullen is uh, definitely going to man mark him. And so the uh, space, even in the opening few minutes, looked pretty congested uh, in that midfield department. Down to Dixon. Wright makes the run out to the right. Pulls one with him and is fouled. Rather hasty challenge by two guy. Wright pulls away. Joins Platt just wide of the penalty spot. Tony Adams is coming up behind them. John Barnes. One dummy, four move, four go back. That's a good curl, that's Platt, and that's the opening goal. Excellent start, excellent free kick, and they were fooled by that, the Turks. There was one dummy on the free kick. England moved back and then up again, and Platt was unmarked for the little flick header. The man who scored four at Wembley has opened the scoring here. What a wonderful start, and the was a sort of just for a second Paul Gascoigne was going to take the free kick probably as was going to be the the preparation before of course John Barnes suddenly came into the side and then taking it with his left foot look at the mark into David Platt at the near post you can't afford to let somebody like him um, get three what three or four yards spare but I think it was John Barnes then said well let me whip it in with the left foot there he goes David Platt running into space three Turkish defenders standing and it's 1-0 oh, England Came here to Turkey in a very positive frame of mind. 
manager was even talking about getting the four goals which would take England to the top of the group to match the performance at Wembley. Free kick. Poor challenge by two guy. And uh, Lee Dixon of Arsenal, which was the semi-final of the play at the weekend, is in the wars at the start. And the referee deciding he's going to have no more of that and has shown the yellow card to two guy. We haven't even got out of the first ten minutes. He's got, uh, I think, an elbow in the face at one end and he sort of skipped past the tackle very well. I mean, it was a desperate lunge, wasn't it? There's was no need for the defender to dive in like that. And he's just caught him on the, the ankle or just the shin part. That this time is in the crowd and Tony Adams is nearest to Barnes. Gascoigne is up at the back. Adams now pulls away. There's a bit of shirt tugging going on and the flag is up for offside. Still Platt who got his head to it in a totally different position but the flag had gone up long since. Palmer using good long legs to good purpose and resisting the challenge of Mehmet. Platt coming in from the left side. At the moment Gascoigne and Wright are the two up front. Well won by Dixon. Ince and England seem to be playing an extra man at the moment. There's always someone there to pick up the loose ball. Good sign. Sinton. Palmer. Two mark by four. Gascoigne comes away from Bullens. Platt, free kick given for the challenge on Gascoigne. Boulin offers a handshake to Paul Gascoigne and surprisingly turns it away because uh, that's about the third tackle. But he's going to have to get used to that, as you say, Barry. And uh, well, that's Lee Dixon again for the third time. And if uh, George Graham was sitting comfortably, which I doubt on the two previous occasions, this one will certainly worry him because he's just gone down I think as a, a result of something that happened a few moments ago it seems to be accumulative England substitutes are Lee Sharp, Gary Pallister Nigel Clough John Beresford of Newcastle and David Seaman really does not look good at all for Lee Dixon Really determined and typical challenge. Game goes on. Gascoigne takes the free kick and the wall does its job. Ince. England playing with ten for the moment while they check on the state of Dixon. Right. Only the tackle, but then he didn't make the clearance. Gives Wright the chance again. Sinton. Gascoigne. Ali. Unal coming into it. Interesting while that is going on and yeah, very much seeing the way he hobbled off Lee Dixon whether he would be able to carry on there. The man that Graham Taylor was speaking to was Nigel Clough. Um, Paul Ince has slotted into right back to fill in the spot at the moment but if Nigel Clough comes on that gives the midfield formation quite an attacking creative look then perhaps it was firstly intention at the start of the week I would have thought Una Ogun simply done Bullent Two guy, and all by Engin, currently in the England half. Walker. Fayaz is in the middle. Two England players there. Comes down to Unal. 
Well up by Adams. Platt. Trying to start the attack going. Didn't quite come off. Ooze. Good stop. Not one with which any chances could be taken. Tight on uh, Woods. Right-hand post. He got across very well. And Lee Dixon is making his way back. And taking his regular position on the near post. Face the corner. Forehand, the only player in the six-yard box. Others to come from further back. It was John Barnes's head. And spectacular stuff from Platt. That's Piontek, the German manager of the Turkish team. Former manager, of course, of Denmark. Just going looking for the nod down. Didn't quite come right. One by Ince. Platt and right. And Ince. Good strike! Would have made a lovely goal. Really got hold of that. I don't know how much he pulled it across the face of the goal. Could only be sure of that from uh, the shot from behind the goal. Two guys. Mehmet. Bullent. Feyaz. But in a hurry. on the side foot quick recovery on behalf of his goalkeeper by Sinton good covering Andy Sinton hasn't looked out of place at left back uh, either in those opening minutes very unlikely Paul in. I'm not sure it didn't just clip the top of the crossbar as it went past Ooze one hand waiting on the near side as we look far side from the kicker if the ball comes across out oh, by Adams yet again. Claimed by Barnes. Finds Wright. Gascoigne. Two breaking, either, one either side. This is Wright. All bouncing a little bit unkindly on the turf. Dixon. This is Orhan. Straightforward run. Taking on Adams. Payas pulls away, but Orhan can't get the pass. Sinton. Barnes. That's a nice ball to right. And inside is Platt. And he is denied in the end by Bullant. Turns to look at the referee, the goalkeeper down in a heap. But that was an excellent pass that started that by John Barnes to Ian Wright. A great early cross from Ian Wright. David Platt just trying to go past the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper coming for it collided with him. I mean, uh, he was then looking for the penalty, then couldn't quite get up in time as the defender covered round and hits it away. And get for it. There's a corner which Gascoigne will take. Crowd booing. They wanted a free kick for the challenge on the goalkeeper, which is nonsense. A lot of movement in the box for England, and up goes Tony Adams, the goalkeeper loses it, John Barnes puts it in the net, but the whistle has gone for a foul on the goalkeeper. So in the end, the crowd, slightly delayed, have got what they want. The Turkish goalkeeper's not really having a good time at the hands of uh, English experts. I remember High Retting getting a certain amount of stick at Wembley. Long delay, and uh, High Retting, as I mentioned him, is warming up possibly to take over but as we are really on the stroke of half time it seems just a touch surprising the other supporters applauding that decision and the Bartri supporters presumably not too happy as if Engin's had enough I think well, that's the left forearm around the elbow area which is causing the problems so England departs. Hyretin takes over. Referee can't have more than the time for the delay for that injury to play, I wouldn't think, in this first half.
coming up to 50 minutes. Ince, curling a lot, Gascoigne, scores! Wonderful! It was a real curling ball, and Gascoigne scores with his head, makes it 2 nothing, and it's gone very, very silent in the main stadium here in Izmir. Smile of David Platt, summing up the position. Hyretin, like the man he's replaced, Engin, beaten before he'd had any chance to feel the ball. Very glad he came on, but I mean, it was a long, loading ball, good early ball again by Paul Ince. But Paul Gascoigne, sensing the goalkeeper was half and half, lobbed it almost towards the far post and it drifted over in the perfect header. The goal scorers Platt the first, Gascoigne the second, and England come off with a very comfortable 2 0 lead. England have Nigel Clough on at the start of the second half. Lee Dixon has a badly bruised shin and may well miss the FA Cup semi-final against Tottenham Hotspur on Sunday. England leading by two goals to nothing. David Platt's 17th goal of his England career and Paul Gascoigne's fifth at either end of the first half. Gascoigne's first for his country with his head. Paul Lynch who's taken the right-back position, which he did briefly when Dixon uh, was off for a while during the first half. Des Walker, who uh, seemed to pull something then. He's not moved away particularly comfortably as we get the confirmation that uh, Nigel Clough is on. Recep to take the throw. Go kick. A few groans of disappointment of the match being played, it has to be said, in a very hostile atmosphere. I don't think they were too pleased when that second goal went in and uh, it's up to England now to get on with the job. For trying not to uh, feel the intimidation within the stadium. And Nigel Clough, of course, an opportunity uh, coming into midfield. Paul Ince is no stranger to right back. He played there a few occasions when he was at West Ham, has done for Manchester United, although I did think he was very effective in midfield in that first 45 minutes. That's neatly played by Gascoigne, and the free kick for the challenge. Gascoigne himself places the ball. As Barnes out to the left. Three players on the brink of the area. And Gascoigne finds his shot headed away by two guys. Fayaz. Mohan is down the middle. Unal in possession. This is Ouz. That, of course, is... Uh, moment anyway, drop back into midfield and Gascoigne is the player playing forward alongside right, that's a good shot by Orhan and well taken by Chris Woods Orhan, the number 11 has been sort of the main danger and you can see just got between Des Walker and Andy Sinton didn't quite catch the shot and Chris Woods got his body right behind it that's brilliant Mehmet. Oz. Fayaz. Oz. He's got a man over to the left who calls for it and gets. Back to Unal, who's dispossessed by Clough, who tries to release right and may well have done so. Gas going inside. Clough has made a long run to be on the far side. Cross is delayed. Maybe that was a mistake by Ian Wright, to delay. Good ball out from Nigel Clough, though. Certainly he's got the passing range, hasn't he, to, to find those spin-off runs that uh, Wright is so effective with. I think 
think he was hoping to be on the end of what he started. Just going to take the corner. Barnes and right in the area, in the six-yard area that is, now joined by Adams, who gets a little back flick. Goalkeeper didn't come for that, left it to his defender. Although it was deep in the six-yard area. Carlton Palmer. Long legs to good purpose again. John Barnes. Just going just a bit. Clough won it well. Sintem puts a bit of pace into it from that pass. Barnes back across the face of the defenders. Adams. Wright offers himself and gets a nice little flick. Orleans needed two to beat him. Ohs. Orhan. Crowd's hopes very quickly ended by Des Walker. Coming up to the end of tenth minute of the second half. Turkey nil, England two. But he answers down the middle. This is Ohs. And David Black came back, but it's run through to Fayaz. But nobody was there. Two defenders covering on the edge of the six-yard area. Nobody attacking the six-yard area from a Turkish point of view. So Chris Wood has been slightly busier in this half than he was in the first. Challenge by Wright. This is Gascoigne. Would have a crack. Goes at them. Gascoigne! Good block by Hayretin. And here's John Barnes. Platt! Well, I don't know whether it spun off the outside of his boot, but he really lined himself up to thump that, and it went wide. I must say, a goal flashed up in my mind there as I saw him setting himself. Uh, it was a good break, wasn't it, by Paul Gascoigne initially. Then John Barnes found himself free, hung the ball up towards the far post, and as I say, I think as he dropped his shoulder he just sliced off the outside of his foot a good opportunity but good to see Paul Gascoigne getting that little bit more freedom Bayer's down the middle and there is Woods Mohan a little bit impetuous by Ince but he got away with it offside against Ian Wright minutes of the second half no addition to the goals of the first both by England free kick to Turkey three points from six games for Turkey before this one Mehmet this is Unal Fayaz is in the middle so is Recep that's good pace. And the referee says play on. And neither the crowd nor the players like it. And because the protest was too strong by Ogun, a free kick is given against him. Referee's done very well, actually. Did very well in the under-21 game because the Turkish players are definitely anywhere in the penalty area. They almost knock the ball towards the defender and throw them to If you see here, they go for the one-two. The ball then is played towards Tony Adams who then makes the tackle and look, he, he definitely gets the ball I mean there's no need to roll over like that Palmer right, it was rather struck at right by Palmer I think Silver Winters player's intention was that Wright should run onto it rather than take it first time, Mehmet down the middle covered by Walker this is Fayez, should have had the first time shot Adams makes sure he doesn't get a second chance Gascoigne Sinton. Gascoigne back again for Sinton. Couldn't hold it in. Leaving Ian right a bit isolated, aren't uh, England at the moment? And uh, just means allowing Turkey to have a bit more possession, uh, bring the crowd a bit to life. And important not to just concede a first goal because they'll obviously the stadium would then come to life at the moment I think just content to sit back on the 2-0 little flick from right to Gascoigne with the chip 
My rating does well. Nice touch by Wright. And a good attempt at the chip, but he just didn't quite get it high enough. Some inventive uh, pairing, though, wasn't it, between... That. Had to really stretch to get to it. It was a good chip, good idea. He was off his line. Good back heel by Wright. Gascoigne. Good forward run made by Clough, but he wasn't given the ball. Palmer. Wright. Hami. Everything to his left. Bit of a greater test for Sintam, but he's well equal to it. Nobody doubted about his ability in the attacking third of the field, but it's a new role for him to be uh, the back man, as it were, on his side. This is Ouz. Oh, he's done well, Sintam. Orhan. Fayaz. Onside is Hami. Bullent waiting. Platt comes back, actually gets an inch his way. And the shot by Orhan is over the top. England thinking about a second substitution. Wright not looking full of life at all. He's on his feet, but I think he's going to be withdrawn. He is indeed. And Lee Sharp is the man chosen by Graham Taylor. And right comes to the end of his eighth appearance for England. And Lee Sharp gets his second, the previous one, as a second-half substitute against the Republic of Ireland two years ago. Mehmet. Army. And Woods grabs it. Slight doubt between Woods and Ince. The goalkeeper got it right in the end. Flat. Ali collected by Barnes. Good turn of speed by Barnes. England throw. came early and late in the first half it's was still to be one late in the second two minutes left Unal Ouz well they're just waiting for that final whistle aren't they the Turkish team but a good result very good result by England um, first away match of the group for them important psychologically to get the two points puts them in a, a, a good frame of mind now for the home game against Holland and then of course two crucial matches in Poland and Norway at the end of the season Barnes Army on this side met by Adams brought out by Platt Sharp. Didn't really make up his mind what he was going to do. Gave away possession as a result. This is Ouz. Two waiting for the cross from Orhan. And he got a bit of a deflection and the turn back by uh, Feyaz. Goal kick. to blow the final whistle. And England go away from home and get the victory. Gascoigne scoring on his first away match since the semi-final of the World Cup in Italy. He scored the second on the stroke of half-time after David Platt had scored the first seven minutes into the match. 
That's the final outcome. Turkey nil, England two, and England two points more. I always thought it was going to be a game of free kicks, but I can't say that publicly before. I mean, people say either because that irritates uh, people, but I always thought it was going to be a stop-start game, um, and you can have a great deal of frustration when that happens. You're not going to flow, you, the, the, the grass was a little bit long again, it's sticking and what have you. You're playing against a side that is going to do a lot of triangular football, have a lot of possession, but perhaps not hurt you. But in that respect, I thought Adams and Walker, Adams in particular, I thought it was you know, magnificent today because the kind of game where you might think that he, you know, a lot of people think he might struggle there, but he doesn't. A couple of lads have got a few little knocks and injuries, uh, but you expect that when you come to places like this, uh, you know, we just got to hope that they heal very quickly. Uh, Lee's, Lee's ankle's a little bit sore, and uh, I want to wish him well for Sunday. Um, but apart from that, we got the points. We come here for the points, and we got them. So England move up into second place in the group, but uh, a big match to come next month, of course, at home. Um, to Holland. Terry Venables, 2-0, um, you'd have settled for that before the yeah, game, wouldn't you? Yeah, before the game, you've got to, it's a, it can be a difficult game. Hot atmosphere and 2-0. Uh, to have made the best start of any European team in the qualifiers, winning all six matches played. If Wales could beat them tonight, though, their World Cup ambitions would remain alive. The match at Cardiff Arms Park, home these days...